Welcome, everybody. Thank you for joining me today for these moments of devotion with our Good Shepherd, Jesus. I read from Psalm 13. But I have trusted in your steadfast love. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord because he has dealt bountifully with me. I have trusted in your steadfast love. The Hebrew word translated steadfast love is the word chesed. It's a rich and deep word whose meaning is hard to fully capture in English. Other English translations render it meaning mercy or unfailing love, loving kindness and faithful love. And they're all correct. It means all of the above and even more. For God is all of the above and more. It is God's holy and completely undeserved love and mercy for all people, for all sinners, for you and me. Why would he care about us at all? Because of his chesed. Because he is chesed. Some people think that if God is love, then bad things shouldn't happen to me. But this is still a sinful world, and we're still sinful people, so bad things still happen. David was in anguish, and often, and so are we. So how good to know that we have a God we can go to, that we can turn to for help, who knows what we're going through and so knows how to help. Yes, he knows, for God came down from heaven and went through the trials and struggles with us. Actually, he went through much more than we will ever. When St. Paul wrote to Titus, he wrote this, But when the goodness and loving kindness of God our Savior appeared, he saved us. That's from Titus 3, verses 4 and 5. Paul is saying that the loving kindness of God and that's one of the translations of chesed above, appeared in our, our world. It was Jesus. He appeared to save us from whatever is not loving kindness. It wasn't easy. When he was praying in the Garden of Gethsemane, just mere hours before he'd be hung on the cross, you can imagine him praying these words with us. But he knows his father is chesed, and that strengthens him and enables him to face the cross. And the steadfast love of the Lord, his chesed, strengthens you too to face whatever is bringing you grief or worry. The chesed of the Lord means that we don't face these struggles alone and that his forgiveness is always there for us. We have confidence that just as the Lord came to be our Savior, so he is with us still as our Savior. So that even when faced with suffering, loss, or death, we can say with David and Jesus and countless Christians throughout the ages, I will sing to the Lord because he has dealt bountifully with me. Indeed, for the chesed of the Lord endures forever. We pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for your chesed, your unfailing, unfathomable mercy and love that would cause you to come down from heaven to be my Savior. When I am anguished or troubled, help me to pray this psalm and remember that you have not left me, but are here with me. Amen. Well, friends, may the chesed, the unfailing mercy and love of God, be your comfort, your strength, and your refuge.